Hey there, buddy, and welcome back to some more Oxygen Not Included, the Frosty Planet Pack. Glad to see that you guys enjoyed the first episode. You guys seem to it return or enjoy the return of Oxygen Not Included, and I'm glad to be back. However, I have realized a critical error in my um, starting of this series is that the fact I don't remember much from our previous series. I kind of remember things here and there, but a lot of the stuff that I've learned has unfortunately slipped my mind. So that is an unfortunate thing with the way I play games, is that I can easily forget things. I guess I attribute that to my goldfish memory. But anyway, I'm going to do my best to make sure that I set up things properly for this colony. As you can see, you guys are running with the jobs that we're doing currently. But if you guys ever have any tips or tricks for me, or say, hey, Stage, remember you can do this and this and this, don't be afraid to let me know down in the comments. The engagement is also very much appreciated, so it's a win-win situation for all of us. Now, what is the plan for today's episode, or what's the plan moving forward? Well, the plan is to get the flocks farm going and also get probably one of these plants up here, this plant right here, the pikeapple bush. We also have some way down here. Pikeapple bushes are going to be used for our floxes, and we're going to use those to set up the farms. Now, am I going to have these in the flocks farms? Probably not, because when you have to, when you work with pike apples, they have phosphorite and they need fertilization. So we may have a farm where fertilization can happen. They get more bonuses from growing, and that way we can just uh, use some automation and put it into our flocks farms, and uh, that way it works a little bit better, in my opinion. If you guys think otherwise, then let me know. But our main goal is to get some of more basic setup and get our kitchen set up because we don't have any cooking. We also need to get the farms, uh, the ranches set up as soon as possible so that we can get um, get some more wood because unfortunately we are running out of wood due to me probably using it for this. Uh, we can go and get a heater up here. So we probably just need to put heaters around, kind of have places for people to enjoy. Uh, we can leave this heater down here in all honesty because um, you guys are going to go down here and you're going to work down here most likely because we need to get to this area and these foxes. So I'm going to go and get to work and uh, yeah, let's see what we can do today in this colony. Uh, before we get fully into it, just remember liking, commenting does help. I do appreciate it very much. So but that's all of that. Let's get started. Okay, first things first, we have a duplicate who has a skill, and that would be Evan. Evan, congratulations. We're going towards ranching, of course, so you're going to get farming and we can go ahead and probably get that farming uh, going. So let's go ahead and get improved farming one. Very good. And then uh, how's our research going? First thing we need to probably look at is how research is going. Okay, good. We've got our meal preparation going. We've got our basic farming going. We can go ahead and put our ration box. So I think my first step is to make a basic kitchen. Now, the problem with making a basic kitchen is that I didn't, I don't think I made this initial area wide enough. You can see here that we have the door and then we have this uh, like kind of like two wide shaft here. Uh, unfortunately, we'll probably have to make this three wide eventually, but I, I've never been good at planning, but we could try and make us a kitchen that would work we just need a drop down for the kitchen so we can easily have a drop down here if we really wanted to to where we can get carbon dioxide to collect and we can put our food in a carbon dioxide freezer i guess yeah i guess i'm gonna call it a carbon dioxide freezer that's that's the name i'm going with uh or we can put it down here and have our dupes also eat down here granted i would love to keep kind of living things uh like the living situation so maybe have like the kitchen up here and then have our uh, you know the first dining hall right here and then have our uh cots and everything on this side that way everyone is kind of doing what they need to do around this area so i'm gonna get to work on that and hopefully it'll go well i'll report back if i change my mind but i want to go ahead and get some of this area built out and dug out uh so we can go ahead and get that done Okay, good news about our research tree two has just ramped up our meal preparation so we can go in and get the electric grill uh, and we can go and start getting our farm tiles going. We probably want to get hydroponics as soon as we can. Granted, I actually don't think the um, the pine apples require it. So it says air pressure, yes. Atmosphere, yes. Body temperature, yes. So we just make sure it's cold. They don't require water. So we don't need to have hydroponic farms. We could just have regular farms. They just need fertilization. We're going to need phosphorite for that. So we're going to have to find a way to create a good source of fertilization. So there is that to consider. Now, for a while, we can go ahead and set up these ranches and just harvest from the wild and then put them up here. So, like, we can start a ranch maybe in this area. Now, I need to make sure I have room for my bathroom and all that. So, I have to make sure. I'm going to have to go back and actually look at my bathroom setup. So, I'll probably, like, I'll find a basic something and set that up. But for right now, this works. Um, we're going to need to get a better quality bathroom at some point. But for right now, I do want to make sure that we get our source of wood because we want to keep our dupes warm. Now, the cool thing, and I read this about the snow tiles. Now, this is kind of neat because I, I did a lot of camping back when I was um, kind of when I was, <laughs> back when I was a teen, and I did igloo camping one time. And so I find it really interesting that they actually 
the snow, if you surround it with a room, it actually insulates the tiles like it does in real life. So if you don't know anything about an igloo, igloos, they, when you sleep at night and you breathe, your the breath from your condensation creates a seal almost on the ice of the inside of the igloo and keeps you warm. It's really crazy. You actually stay more warm than you would in like a tent. <laughs> so, I, you know, you wouldn't think about that. But yes, that is that is a really cool thing that I really like to see in the game. So it does prevent heat loss as long as the room is sealed with snow tiles. So just a little fun fact there. I'm going to keep going. Um, but I wanted to uh, update you guys on the research and kind of what my plan is. So probably get a Phlox Ranch set up as soon as possible with a shearing station once we get that research done. And then we'll start harvesting these pie cobbles down here uh, once we dig this area out. So that is the plan right now. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep working. Okay, we got a couple more skill points here. Let's take a look. We have Danzy with an upgrade. We're going to get uh, a point in cooking because Danzy is going to be our cook. And then we have Kevin who is going to be our... You know what? Every time we play this game, Kevin is always our dig and construction. And usually Kevin dies because of it. You know, we're going to go along with it anyway. Kevin, I appreciate you being our dedicated digger in almost every single playthrough we do. You do the hardest work in the colony. I do appreciate it. Now, let's hope that it doesn't end up in one of your deaths this time. <laughs> All right, so let's go. I've got some mush bars, or not mush bars, but I've got the micro mushers up here. Uh, we can make these if I want to. I'm not going to make them yet. Uh, we're going to get to a point to where... Um, we are almost out of pemmican here. So we do have pemmican. Uh, this is a new... I Actually, I don't remember having pemmican in the base game. I could be wrong. Oop, I just dropped them all over the floor. Whoops, and that does not look very good now, does it? Uh, so I want to I want to look at pemmican real quick. I, I don't remember this resource at all. So meat and tallow. Pound it into cal uh, calorie-dense brick with exceptionally long shelf life. Uh, 2,600 calories. Wow. Um, so we can use it to feed, but we need a micro-musher, tallow, and meat. What is the quality of this? This is actually a standard quality, which is kind of interesting. Now we need tallow. What does tallow come from? So tallow, we can make a fat fish taco with it. Produced by spigot seals. Oh, this is a new one. Let's see. Spigot seals are charismatic creatures who produce ethanol. They enjoy sipping nectar straight from the bonbon tree. Okay. Don't know anything about these, but they eat from the bonbon tree and produce ethanol, and then I'm assuming if we kill them, they produce tallow. And I don't think we've seen a single one of these creatures, but there is an ethanol area down here. I can see a bamoth, but uh, yeah, we do have an ethanol. We also want to do a bamoth uh, farm at some point, but with bamoths, if we look at them, they produce plenty of meat for us. Tw Whoa, 22,000 kilocalories of meat. That's, that's wild. Um, but they need plum squash, or they need... Oh, yeah, they just need plum squash, and there's a plum squash plant, and they produce Bamoth patty, which is disgusting. I wonder what we can use that for. Um, the applications of a Bamoth patty can be turned into phosphorite and clay. Okay, so we do need the phosphorite for our fertilization, so that's where we're going to get the phosphorite for that. But we need to find um, some plum squash, which we do have there. So, yeah, we just need to branch some Bamoths as well. So it seems like this is going to be focusing heavily on ranching. Um, this time around, I know we kind of in our in our achievement run, we were doing a bunch, bunch, bunch of, uh, of what they called, um, gosh, I already forgot, Hatch hatches, that one. So looks like we're focusing on bamoths and uh, floxes this time around. So we're going to get those set up as soon as we can. They're going to be basic ranches for right now, just so we can get our basic necessities going. Uh, you guys can climb in that. Very good. Now, what I'm going to do is just put a ladder right there so you don't have to keep doing that. Now, this is just a basic um an easy, basic way for us to get a box down here. We're going to have to put a fridge down here, which I think I should be fine putting a fridge right here because I can't make this any lower. As you can see, it's a little bit um, a little bit low there. But we need raw minerals. Now, what do I need for raw minerals? Uh, I don't exactly know. So let me go see if I can figure out what a raw mineral is. Okay, so I found out raw minerals are any of these. Uh, unfortunately, it's not at the Cinnabar Ore, and we don't have a lot of raw minerals. That is a problem. So we can't make anything out of raw minerals. Uh, we have ore, but we have, there's some phosphorite, but it's agricultural. Ooh, okay. We have some igneous rock over here, so we have this. Uh, we could dig out some igneous rock, which is fine. We can tell our dupes, hey, go through the bathroom area and dig out some of this. Now, what is this? This is polluted ice. Okay, we can turn that polluted ice into something uh, at some point, but... I Unreachable dig. Okay, so eventually Kevin will be able to dig that out, and he actually can dig out some of this over here, too. Um, so he's going to eventually do those jobs, I hope. Uh, it says it's unreachable, which means they can't get across right here, I think. So we can say, hey, dig that out. And that way we can get some igneous rock, because we're going to need that to build our box. And I think I should have future-proofed this, probably by raising it up a tile and then making these 
available to put fridges in. Now, we were able to put fridges here anyway, so I think this should be fine. I think you guys can just walk down and go around. I don't really like this, if I'm honest. I wish I, I wish I could make it one lower, but you can see here that this is a problem, and we can't exactly move our printing pond, so I really should have moved this room up a tile and make the printing pond area five high, which I might do, but then it offsets my base, and then my, yeah, I'm going to get kind of OCD about that. I don't know, we'll do it for right now, and then we'll move the kitchen later if we need to. But that's kind of the progress of the colony right now. Not much to honest report on. I just want to get, keep you guys updated what our ranching, uh, what the ranching idea is. So, going to get some of this raw mineral, get that going. It's nap time. We also have another skill, so I was going to I was gonna cut here, but nope. <laughs> we have TU getting a skill, which advanced researching. Perfect. All right. So, TU is done with researching. Let's see what else we can do. Oh, we need advanced research. Okay, to ranch, we need advanced research. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to move these plants. I'm going to uproot these, um, which we're going to have to find a way for TU to breathe because eventually carbon dioxide is going to fill in here and we don't want that. Carbon dioxide is already filling in there. Uh, so we're going to have to find a way for this to fall. So I might make a path that kind of does something like that for right now so that carbon dioxide kind of falls and goes down in this pit and then we have a bunch of these aloe vera plants down here. And we might be able to actually get some planted. I don't know how we're going to. I know I call them... Aloe vera, but they're not. It's uh, alve vera, alveo vera. So anyway, <laughs> uh, we could fertilize. Oh, we can actually, yeah, we can farm these. We can create a farm down below and filter out our carbon dioxide, and that would produce us a bunch of oxalite. I wonder if you can actually survive on oxalite in this. I really wonder if you can create a source of oxygen from this. Now, I don't think the oxalite produces a lot. It's like, well, how much is an oxalite off gas? Yeah, you can see it's harvestable ready, so you can harvest the oxalite and then use the new item. So if you guys remember, when we last looked at the research screen, there's this new item down here. And I think it's an oxygen production. Actually, no, it's not even an oxygen production. It's this, yeah, the oxalite sconce. So it stores a small chunk of oxalite, which gradually releases oxygen into the environment. I wonder... Now, don't get me wrong, I don't think everything... Nothing will be to spawn, I don't think. I, I really don't think this is going to be a good source, but... We could put these around our base for the meantime and keep our dupes happy. So we just need oxalite. We could place these around and, you know, have our oxalite. So I might go ahead and research that. I know it's probably not top priority, but at least TU is doing something while we get the advanced research station going. Um, eventually I want plumbing. Uh, yeah, so yeah, we'll probably look at a spawn because we can easily keep a spawn cool in this area. There, there's not going to be any problem with that. Um, but I do want to uproot these, maybe plant them somewhere else because we're going to need to Evan, why are you why are you researching? All right, hang on, wait, wait a minute. We gotta look at our priorities here. All right, Evan is researching. Uh, no one should be researching except to you. No one should be doing that. Okay. There we. Okay, one one day, one. There we go. All right. So, no one should be doing that except to you. So, Evan, go go Heart Ranch. There you go. Good job. Um, and then if we look at our science. My research. My station. Okay. We don't have metal ore. And I need to research the advanced research station, don't I? Ooh, right. Ugh. Okay, we need that first. Yeah, get that one first. That is part of number one. That'll give us our wood heaters as well. So there we go. Tu's got her job. And I think, every how's everyone doing in terms of warmth? What's our heat overlay? Yeah, I love, I they did a really, I know it's, I know it seems kind of simple, but they did a really good job with this, this kind of new mechanic. I, I think this is a new mechanic for everyone if you don't get the DLC, but this planet and everything, I, 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 like I said in the previous episode, I am a sucker for ice and snow biomes and stuff like that, so I'm really enjoying this right now, but got a couple of jobs that we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and get that working on. We got a ton of aloe vera seeds we can plant, so I'm going to probably actually get the... I, I, we can't plant in the wild, but... and we don't have any pips, so we'll probably get some ranches going and put them down here, or the lowest point in our base, and just have a oxalite farm, so that may be the plan there. T has completed our... Uh, first research for the wood heaters so we can place wood heaters down where we would like now um, We will probably need to place those throughout the base, but I want to get this set up first We need to get a flox ranch set up So like I said primary goal is to get these floxes in a home I'm probably gonna put them under the bathrooms here So I'll probably keep an extra space under these bathrooms just in case So ideally where the first flox ranch is gonna go so we have this is a room right here uh, Door is gonna go right there, right there, there's a door, because that's too high, right? No, 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 okay, hang on, wait, 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 that's the wall that separates these two, then we have that, and the door goes there, yeah. So we have a door here, I'm just going to put that there for right now. 
close it off. Um, I have this, I, dig, I dug out this hole here so we can actually get this carbon dioxide and sink this pit there. Um, eventually we'll build that out and move all of this. I actually don't think I can move this, which is unfortunate. So we're gonna use it as lighting. We'll probably put the research station over here. I don't know yet. We, I haven't decided where I'm gonna put the research station. Um, I was gonna put some storage over here. I'm gonna keep our st uh, storage as central as possible. Have a kitchen there, have dupes eat up here and then have them kind of travel down and around. Um, I wouldn't love to get a park set up, but I don't know how possible it's gonna be. I've kind of destroyed a lot of this area already because I would love to get a park in here. So like, you know, we can have, we need at least I think three plants for a park. Let's check real quick for our, for our, where is it? Our park, we need at least two wild plants. So what we could do is keep this as a park up here and leave these Olivio era Veras, Olivio Vera, it sounds like a spell or something, um, and keep this as a park because the dupes are always going to come through here. So we can seal this off with a door and they can, you know, go through down here and keep this area up here as a park. So, you know, you know, we'll have, let's just put a door here for right now. We'll have another room right here and we'll expand these out. This will be kind of like the living quarters for our dupes, this big area right here. And they will always exit out here and they will always go through this park, kind of like what we had in our achievement run playthrough. So we can do that. I think that's probably a good idea just to keep this area as natural as possible. Um, and that way our dupes are pretty happy as well. So we can kind of lock that off there with uh, more doors and stuff like that. So I think that's the idea I'm gonna go for, um, just so we get that morale bonus. Morale is super helpful, especially when we're in a cold climate like this. Um, ooh, you guys are hungry? Do we not have food? No, we do have, okay, we have some pemmican. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up some jobs for mush bars as well. Uh, we need dirt and water, which we have not a lot of, but you know, we should be fine. Um, let's just make 10 mush bars right now. We'll get Danzy on that. She is cold, uh, which makes sense. We're in a very cold environment with no heaters. Honestly, I probably should put a heater in here since Danzy will be working. So we're gonna go ahead and start using those. And once again, I... <laughs> I, I know the fact that we need more wood. Uh, what is the problem here? But I am going to put a heater in here for Danzy. Uh, so when she's working, she is not freezing her butt off. So we'll get that done. We have a wood heater in there. So you can see here Danzy's getting heated up going to those. But we also want a warm environment wherever they work. Uh, Tiu is fine just because Tiu is holding her breath. I just realized Tiu is... Okay, we hang on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's dig this out just so there's a carbon dioxide pit there. Uh, I'm going to actually say... Okay, we got to get some priorities going here. Uh, Kevin, do that. And then I want you to get us some igneous rock if you can. So let's dig all this out if you can. I would like to have that. Actually, I'm going to make that lower than our little carbon dioxide pit I just made for Tiu because Tiu needs to breathe. That's kind of important for her. So Kevin will go work on that, hopefully. Um, all right, so we got that. We have mush bars going. We have our wood heater. Very good. Wood heaters should always be a nine. If they need wood, provide wood. Now, I wonder if there's automation for these things, because if they're running all the time, are they always using it? Oh, and they also emit carbon dioxide, but it's only milligrams per second. That's not terrible. So, okay. All right, so that's warm. We have no power. Uh, we're going to need an operator. I think we're going to need to get an operator dupe. And we also need to get battery storage. We need to get smart batteries, I think. Um, smart batteries are going to be super helpful. And speaking of a new dupe, let's go ahead and take a look of what we can get. I think one dupe, one more dupe is probably all we need at the moment. So let's see if we got anyone. So we have athletics and piloting with increased science, uh, immune to food poisoning, immune to, let's see, increased food morale bonus, increased bladder. Ooh, okay. I mean, we have athletics, which is okay. I mean, they have an increased run speed. We can get some salt water or bliss burst. Um, the seed of bliss burst, digging a buried object may uncover bliss burst seed. I don't. Honestly, I don't think I want any of these. To be to be to be blunt, I don't think I really want any of these. I mean, I'll take the Bliss Burst seeds just for the heck of it, but yeah, to be honest, I don't want any. Uh, I don't want those dupes. I need an operator, and an operator is going to be very important for um, kind of moving forward uh, to get these things. Because you can see here that our power is fine at the moment, and to use completed research. Man, there's a lot of things happening at once. All right, so we have our advanced research uh, availability. And what I want to do is focus on, I think, gases, because gases are going to be important. And then we want to get at least some lighting and maybe some smart home. Because um, that gives us the duplicate motion sensor. So I think that'll be good for getting some lighting in rooms. So we'll do that in that order. And I, can I queue that up? I say, and then click, right click that. 
Uh, is that how that works? Yes, no, maybe no. I want that. I think I can queue up a line, but I don't think I can queue up the next one. Yeah, I think I can queue up a line. All right, that's fine. So focus on our oxygen generation, and then we'll get that done. So I'm going to get to use a little science area set up here so that uh, she can actually work on advanced sciences. And I think what I actually need to do is move this pit again. I know Kevin just dug that out, but I need to move this oxygen pit to kind of be right there and then deconstruct this snow block and then keep this snow tile here. There we go. That looks a little bit better. All right, so I'm going to get that set up and uh, bring you guys back. Something was off and I didn't know what it was, but I realized Tiu didn't have her hat for researching. Tiu, I'm sorry. There you go. There's a hat. All right, so just to kind of update you guys on what's going on, uh, we have the my, most of the kitchen done. We have this area over here that we're going to work on getting for the duplicates to eat at. I'm um, working on getting this place closed off as a park and then eventually actually a nature reserve. Um, so if we can get this as a nature reserve, that'll be really great for our duplicates here and then have a great way to have a giant morale boost. Uh, for these guys. I'm going to leave some of this area undug. Um, obviously, we can't leave that one like that because uh, they, they got to get in there. And then we're also working on our ranch down here. Um, I was trying to map out what I need for a ranch. So this is kind of going to be our basic ranch for right now. This right here. So we'll put some foxes down here. Uh, probably have a couple ranches for foxes because we need wood. Um, and obviously, this is our wood pile. We can probably move it at some point. I don't know if this is like a basic thing that we can get or not. Uh, I would have to check. But I don't think it's something that's in our inventory here. Yeah, so I looked for the wood pile in the research and in our um, build menu, and I could not find it. Uh, what's going to be interesting, though, is I, I noticed the wood burner here. Burns wood to produce electric power, produces carbon dioxide and heat. I wonder if these will be useful for early game or not, especially if we have a lot of wood. Um, because of the flunks that we have a way to make wood, and a wood burner would make sense for this type of playthrough. I mean, we're doing like the kind of rustic cabin in the kind of snowy biome. Uh, type deal. So I wonder if a wood burner, I know it's like not great in terms of the carbon dioxide, but I mean, maybe we can find something to do with the carbon dioxide. I don't know. Let me guys know. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. And maybe that's something we could do. But I do need to select a new research for our little dupes here for T to work on. Uh, T finished up to this point where we have the oxalite sconce. And uh, we probably need some airflow tiles in these as well, but we're not going to worry about that in a moment. Let's get some of the automation done so that we can have a uh, some morale bonus with you guys. Uh, working on different things th here and there. Now we're gonna have to start worrying about power relatively soon. Um, power is going to be an issue, but uh, we really need smart batteries in all honesty. Um, but I do want to get at least some of this basic stuff done. Um, so that is a thing that we need to worry about. Now, where is that? Uh, let's see here. So yeah, power regulation, we want a smart battery. And we're going to need advanced research for it anyway, so we want to get to smart battery so we can start doing that automation uh, so that our power is going to be uh, <laughs> a little bit easier to set up when we get to there. And we also have the power control station, which should be really nice as well. But guys, let me know what you think about uh, how we should handle power. Should we just go ahead and start focusing on a spawn? Should we maybe stay in the spirit of doing the rustic cabin type playthrough and go with a wood burner? I know it's not probably the most efficient and it produces like heat and all that, but it could, you know, with the way this biome works, I don't know, maybe it could work. I don't know. You guys let me know down below. But I'm going to start building a little bit more. I'm going to start getting this ranch set up because ideally I want this ranch set up as soon as possible so we can get phloxes in here. Look at those little guys. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them. I love that. I, I love... Yeah, this... They did such a good job on the designs on this too. And then we're going to get our um, spammoths. Spammoths? Bammoths. I don't know why I said spammoths. Anyway. Uh, so we have downtime. Attribute increase. Ooh. Okay, wait. Wait. No, no, no. Wait, no. Just attribute increase. All right, never mind. But going to go and let our little dupes here work on things. We are out of food, unfortunately. Uh, really need to have this guy built out if we can so we can start storing this and get rid of this one uh, so we can start storing our mush bars because they're just kind of sitting there on the ground. Uh, we also need to get, get a place for you guys to eat. So a couple things to work on. Just want to let you know what we were doing there. Okay, TU's completed some more research here. We do have our automation. Now we're going to go up to the top. So that, there it is, our automation. So we can go and get lights and stuff. And we can also dismantle uh, the place where TU's working and actually set up her uh, set her up a proper research station. So we're going to go ahead and shift over and make sure we get this ranching done. And we want the shearing station, which we will get here. So we'll have everything that we need to set up our flocks farms. And then I'm going to go for the agriculture so we can actually start farming oxalite and other things like that. Um, what I really need is this, uh, the farm station, and I believe, yeah, okay, this is just, is this what I'm looking for? Yeah, okay, that's what I'm looking for. So, yeah, we're going to set that up, make sure we get, uh, plenty of these pineapple plants, uh, pike apple bushes, sorry, not pineapple. <laughs> That'd be kind of interesting if there's an actual plant in here. Someone's entombed, is it Kevin? 
No, it's not. Okay. Whew. I thought that was a person. All right. I, you know, and sorry to assume that was immediately Kevin, but if you if you don't know and you didn't watch our previous playthrough, Kevin Kevin died a lot. Kevin Kevin died a lot, and it was usually a, it was usually a falling falling rocks and rubble. So there was that. I'm um, also set up some of these oxalite sconces so that we can try and use these and see if they're going to be effective or not. If they're not, then we will definitely need to find a more long term solution. Um, but for right now, I think that should be good. This one is producing oxygen, so as long as you guys put oxalite here, which we're not really doing because I don't think we have enough oxalite because we don't have a ton of aloe vera or uh, alveo vera plants on here. That's I'm never going to get used to saying that, um, but we need more of those. And we also need to kind of dig this area out so we have more of these. But I think once we get kind of that farm set up, then we might be good because it will produce every two cycles. Wild growth is only eight cycles, so we probably need to actually domesticate these so have a farm of them at the bottom of our base and let carbon dioxide fall down here and let them produce that way probably the way, and we can also just set it up and pump carbon dioxide out there's also that as well um but we at least want to get some of that going i did set these as priority nine so you guys should do that when you have the availability we need someone who can be a carrier so the next time a new dupe comes along that's probably what we're going to do and focus on that also Evan didn't get a lot of sleep. Also, some... Oh, wow. I think there was actually polluted dirt up here. Yeah, there's polluted ice up here, and it melted right here. Interesting. We're going to have to find a way to move that and put a... We're going to need to find a polluted tank, aren't we? Where am I going to put my water and... Granted, I don't know if we can have tanks. That's the thing. You know, they have to be heated. Yeah, we're going to have to heat certain areas and insulate certain areas. Granted, I, I want to keep with the cozy cabin feel, so I don't want to heat up the entire base. Like, in all honesty, like, I, I could do that and just have this heated up and not worry about it. Because I think these snow blocks have to be a certain temperature before they melt. But we'll melt if te temperatures get too high. Yeah, so we don't want them to get too high. Um, hmm. I didn't think about that because I really would like to kind of treat this as like an outdoorsy, you know, snow tiles. Like, you know, obviously we're going to replace these with wood tiles eventually. Um, but, you know, keep insulated tiles when I can, have igloos. Honestly, I can turn this into an igloo here if I really wanted to. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to find a place to at least think about putting storage tanks. Granted, this one's down. Oh, I don't really need this guy down here. I'm going to disable that one for right now. That one's probably taking up some of our wood that we don't need to be losing. Uh, there's an Alveo Vera uh, creating more oxygen for us. So maybe we can get some tanks over here near our, our bathrooms. And the maximum size for a bathroom, make sure I plan this out properly. And I think we only need one. So if we look at the washroom... We need to have it at least 64 tiles wide. So if we take a look at what we got now, that will be right here. So that'll be where our bathroom extends to. So what I can do is go ahead and say, hey, extend these snow tiles out to here at least. I think that's right. Is that right? Yep, 64 tiles. So we can have that as our bathroom. Now, I've got to remember how I did my previous plumbing setup because there was a plumbing setup that I did like quite a bit. So I'm gonna have to remember that, but I'll do some research for the next episode. Right now, this is working just fine for us. We just make sure we move this polluted ice to a place where it is not going to melt. And I need to find, I need to get the automatic dispensers so we can do that. So I think that's gonna be next on our research after we do this. Cause I, like I said, wanna get ranching set up first. Ranching is very important. We need to get that done. So I'm gonna keep working on that and I'll report back to you guys. Okay, so Tiu has finished up our ranching re research, so I want to go up here and get agriculture. Go ahead and get the park sign, go ahead and get the farm station, get all that going for us. We're going to have to decide where we're going to have a farm at, and I think I might start our farming right here, maybe. It depends on how the bathroom setup goes, uh, and I'll probably have like that more set up as we get into the next couple episodes. But for the ranch, we can go ahead and get that set up at least. So stations, we want a, we want a grooming station. And we also want to drop a point, so shearing station, or sorry, grooming station, shearing station. We want those two. And then we want to have a critter drop-off point. I'm not going to lie, that took me way too long to find. But anyway, critter drop-off point right here. And then we have a critter feeder. Uh, so we're going to want to get one of these as well, but we're going to need some metal ore for it. So we're going to have to uh, ore, uh, mine out some of the cinnabar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up mining these jobs over here as nine. I want to get this kind of built and down because I want to be able, I want our our carbon dioxide here that's building up to be able to fall. We need that to fall pretty badly. Uh, so you guys are going to work on that, thankfully. Uh, we're also going to build out this sp space right here. And I think what I'm going to do is I might have... I might... I, I wish I could move this, in all honesty. Um, 
I don't know if I can or not. If we can't, then this is just worth staying. But I might put two... Uh, I might put like a... What's it called? Auto storage? Auto something? I don't remember exactly. But the thing that drops resources and just have our infinite storage. I feel like this is a big waste of a room for doing infinite storage. So I might move that elsewhere. Might have it over to the side or something. I don't know. I got to put that somewhere just because we need to clean up our base tremendously. And we also have this room here. I don't think this is going to be our power room. We're going to eventually move this down a little bit lower. But you can see here, oxygen is not great. We need to get that adjusted. Um, oxygen needs to have a better option here. Um, we do have carbon dioxide on here with our oxalite plants, um, but we need to find, probably gonna have to find a better solution uh, until we can start ranching that. Uh, or sorry, farming that. Uh, so we will probably set up a farm down below, at least for the meantime, for these alveo vera plants. And just like that, we have a new dupe. Let's see if we have something good. All right, so we have husbandry, piloting, athletics, nine owl, innately stylish, uncultured, and then, uh, but they can't do any digging. This is honestly really great. And since we're gonna need to be doing a good bit of husbandry, Catalina right here could be good. Let's take a look at what we got. 16 husbandry, whoa. But you have decreased stomach, you have noodle arms, and you have decreased husbandry, which is okay. <laughs> and then we have gastrophobia and squeamish, which is fine. Uh, increased creativity, and you have strength and piloting. This tidying would be great. But we also need another rancher, I think. So we can have two ranchers. We can have two early ranchers, and then we can find someone who would be better at... Yeah, let's do that. So uh, I'm going to name this one. Let's see here. Do we have everyone in our thing? I think so. So I'm going to name this one after one of my mods. We're going to say this is Dirk Souls. Dirk Souls, welcome to the colony. I appreciate you. And we're going to get Dirk Souls in here as another one of our ranchers. Welcome to the Frozen Colony. There we go. All right, so Dirk Souls is going and immediately to the power wheel. You know what? We'll take it. Um, for right now, priorities, Dirk Souls, if he could, you know, do ranching if you can. But I would like you to tidy and carry more than, you know, supplying more than anything. If you can tidy and do that. Now, granted, tidying, he's not going to do much of, but he will supply these if there's oxalite available, which we desperately need. We need oxalite, um, which we can dig out a lot of oxalite here. I mean, we could go ahead and say, hey, dig this out if we really wanted to. Um, granted, I know you guys can't reach that, but hey, it works. There's also oxalite on the ground. So, and this one also is not, it's growing. So this one hasn't been fully grown yet. Uh, there's that one, there's that one producing. Okay, good. Uh, so we're gonna dig this out eventually. You guys can't reach it, which makes sense. So let's go ahead and make sure we get that reachable. And then we want to dig, I'm gonna dig out the surrounding area too, just so we have a larger shaft there. Uh, we have a LVO Vera plant. We also have a bunch of different little snow tiles that we can dig up. But that's besides the point. We make sure we have these mush bars. Go ahead and get 10 more. I would say produce forever, but we don't want to produce forever. Uh, we can see here that our oxalite is not producing anymore, it looks like. So I think... I think our next priority is going to be, hey... We need to get better oxygen generation. Most likely. Okay, we, we still have plenty of oxygen, I think. I mean, we have 99% breathability. I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem, but uh, we're going to find out, I guess. You finished another research for us. We are now done with the agriculture, so I think we're able to move on and get towards sound amplifiers for the smart batteries. So I think that's the next tree uh, T is going to work for us, and then I'll give us some opportunity to have some better electrical um, resources. Hopefully, hopefully I will kind of figure out a better system for electricity because we're going to need something. Also, we really don't need this guy running up here, but we do have this nine DIY, DIY cot. So, Dirksels is kind of a sign there. We don't really want him to sign there, but I don't really see a way for me to move it other than deconstruct or disable, uh, disable to deconstruct, deconstruct this building to refund all resources. I kind of don't want to. I kind of just... I want, to, I want to take it with me. Is there a move? Deconstruct? No. I want to move it. Okay, anyway. Got to figure out how to move that somehow. We'll figure that out. Ooh, we can also carve this. Carve this rock to enhance its positive effects. Hmm, I have a little home away from home over there. I don't know. Uh, but now because we have the, uh, the agricultural research done, we can put this park sign. And I'm going to put that right... Hmm, put that right here, I think. Put that right, uh, right there so that we can have this gigantic park. So when you guys... Walk in here, you have a good side effect. So I'm going to go ahead and put that as a 9 for a build. 
and we can get that done. Um, we don't have any oxalate going here. We are slowly running out of oxygen, which is not great. I don't know why our carbon dioxide is not falling. It should be falling. But we are producing a lot because of the wood heaters. Uh, I am going to go up here and pro turn this one off because that one is producing a lot of carbon dioxide. So take a look at our auction. Auction is definitely a problem. Uh, we're going to need more of it to push the carbon dioxide down. We have lots down here, but we just don't have enough uh, in terms of production. We have the oxalite uh, that you guys are providing to these sconces, but it's just not enough. Now, I do want to see, do we have a park here? We don't have a park. Now, why is that? We need... Possible room types park maximum size 64 tiles. So we really need to get Honestly, we need to just kind of carve this open here So I'm gonna say hey priority eight on this one so you guys can carve that open and then we'll get a nature reserve there And have the maximum bonus there. So it seems like our major issues are going to be auction generation Which is okay. We'll have this auction pocket kind of this auction pockets kind of falling down We're gonna turn that off just so that we're not wasting heat uh, Evan got way too cold, so Evan's heading back. That's fine. I understand. It is a freezing planet. Uh, we also are out of power, so we're having a couple of issues to work on next time. Uh, one is to fully get our Fox Ranch going, uh, which we have there. We need to go ahead and get our plumbing set up. We need to get a better way for you guys to have power. Lots of things to do, but this is where I'm going to leave this episode off. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you. Um, thank you just for supporting the series. Uh, you guys seem to really enjoy the first episode, so I do appreciate it. Um, if you guys have any tips and tricks, please let me know down below. If you have any suggestions, that will also be helpful. Um, leaving comments, liking always helps. And if you want to support me another way, we do have the members available. I'm not going to push it too hard. You guys know uh, that it's there, but I do appreciate the support either way. Liking, commenting, honestly, just watching the videos is enough for me. But I, if you want to support me another way, there is also that. And also, you would be in line to get named first. But if that, um, if you just want to be named, just let me know down below, and I will gladly do that. But that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, as always, for spending some of your time here. Hope you have, guys have a great day where you may be. And I'll just see you next time. Bye, everybody.